Remember wearing something like this? Just like women, bras come in all shapes and sizes. And it's Katie Cameron's job to make sure Marks & Spencer's bra archive is looked after. She's got some real treasures. Wow, Katie, what a lineup we've got here. <laughs> Tell us about them. So this is the earliest bra that we have in the collection. It dates from 1928 and it's very typical of that um, boyish figure that would have been popular in the 1920s. It's un quite unsupportive. This bra is from the 1950s um, and a quite a different shape from the <laughs> 1920s one. <laughs> You're telling me you do some serious damage on that <laughs> one, can you? <laughs> It's, again, typical of the 1950s. It's that sweater girl look, um, the kind of pointed chest look that everybody was going for to emulate the Hollywood starlets of the time. This bra is from the 1960s, and again, very typical of that era with the bright prints and bold patterns and a lot more supportive coming down to the waist. Yeah. And then this bar um, is from 1972. It was launched in 71. This was a bestseller, and when it was launched, it sold uh, a million copies um, in 18 months. So it was a really popular style. Yeah, I think you could buy something like that today. Mm, definitely. Mm. Well, here are the latest offerings on the shop floor in Marks & Spencer's. A dizzying choice, but here's the latest innovation, the bralette. It's replacing the 90s push-up look. Ladies, it's no longer about two tennis balls on a shelf. We are allowed to relax. Bras with stretch straps, which stay where they're put. The changing shape of bras shows how women have moulded their bodies to fit the expectations of fashion. And from push-up to minimising, it's still going on. Because as every woman knows, the hunt for the perfect bra is a never-ending lifetime's work cup sizes or not. Kathy Killick, BBC Look North, Leeds.